It's bad news for the International Space Station. Ah, a giant R2-D2. This is an ordinary shotgun. What if you can make this shotgun even stronger? This is the quad shotgun. <laughs> oh my goodness. R2, you are in need of serious repairs, my friend. It blasts straight through him. Whoa, I don't know I don't know what happened here, but I apparently fell through the floor. I wonder how quickly I can destroy him. There he goes. <laughs> I did it. Oh, yeah, that's a bunch of zombies. This is the YouTube studio, apparently. And this is a bunch of zombies. Let's go inside, shall we? They're breaking in. I'm trapped. It's probably a good thing I have this quad shotgun. Let's try to get him in a nice little pile, shall we? And here we go. They're here one second, and the next just completely gone. Either that or they, they're getting blown through the world. Maybe that's what's happening. I got this sweet thing called gravity controller. Now if I if it's on yellow and I hit spacebar, we <laughs> roll to change gravity strength. Oh, there we go. Ah, hey, yes, we're flying now. What if I just turn it down an insane amount down what what happened to me <laughs> i don't know second i'm in the air next second i'm dancing like a crazy person let's try this again i just want to slam into the ground okay we've got our gravity being oh here it comes here it comes here it comes and boom i went through the... nope i didn't go through the world and i didn't get hurt i'm on this sweet downtown map and I've got this thing. You know what we gotta do to these things, right? Got that big, forgot about how powerful this thing is. Look at that recoil, it's insane. When you're in the scope mode, it doesn't have recoil. That's taking far too long, so we gotta get a little Kamehameha blast from the heavens over here. I'm pretty sure I'm about to crash my computer. And there's the lag. Well. It crashed. I didn't know when I'd use this physics gun again, but then I found this thing. The Statue of Liberty. And so we're gonna do something really fun with this thing. Why are there all these sunspots on my screen all of a sudden? First thing we need to do is destroy the bottom part of the statue and take it off. Then I think we'll take it and we'll either use it as a wrecking ball or we'll drop it on something. I think we should, oh, uh, let's drop it on the yacht. Here we go. And I missed. <laughs> Let's just use it as a wrecking ball, shall we? It seems to be working a lot better like that. I'll tell you what. Let's use the yacht and use it as a wrecking ball. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> hey, um, so I think you may have a hole in your house. <laughs> We don't want them to know that we use their yacht for anything, so let's just go ahead and put it back where we found it, shall we? I don't think they'll have any idea. <laughs> We're on this downtown map. It's like there was a containment breach or something, and there's apparently some kind of virus going around. Body collection. Let's go inside. It seems safe. Why can't I get these doors open ever? Oh, there's no bodies in here from the looks of it. Oh, wait. These are body bags. <laughs> these are body bags. There's a lot of bodies in here, it turns out. This seems safe. Let's go in here, shall we? Is it just me, or does anybody else have problems with doors? I can't seem to open doors in this game. I don't know why, but I got it open. Forget opening doors. I got a different idea. Got this nice <laughs> grenade launcher. That'll work. Oh, crap. I might have missed a bit. What in the world? I got blown up through the uh, train station above. Hey, look what I found. You can actually just push your way through the doors. <laughs> Let's try this again, shall we? Oh, nice. Let me show you my favorite mod and why you need it. I'm gonna spin this up real fast, get this going. And uh, once you have your blade spinning at high speed, go ahead and start driving. You'll see how slow it is. And what you need is super boost because it's uh, way too slow. And when you get super boost, it makes everything so much more chaotic and enjoyable. Look at all the pieces. Goodbye, head. Just get yourself the nice vehicle boost. I'm telling you, it's my favorite mod because it really makes things very different when you're in vehicles and so much more enjoyable and destructive. 
I mean, look at this thing. Look at how slow it is. But then once you boost it, things start getting really crazy. And if you turn it, it just derps out. Oh, whoa, I'm stuck in this train. I thought I was going to be outside of it, but apparently I'm stuck in it and I can drive it, which is pretty cool. Look at this thing. I can actually drive it. Look at the little thing under there spinning around. So here's the thing. This, we got to find a way to make this train get destroyed. Oh, a bridge. I think we'll, uh, I can't get out of this thing. Guys, okay, so here's the thing. I could just use, I could just fly out, but why would I do that when I could just use the quad shotgun to blow a nice big hole in the side and then get out of this thing? So here's what I think we'll do. Now that I know there's a bridge, I think I'll destroy a section of the bridge and then we're going to get in the train and drive it and try to jump the, jump the hole in the track. I think that'll work. <laughs> nice. Okay, here we go. We're in the train. We're gonna see if we can jump this hole on the bridge that I just made. I, I, I think we can do it. Look at the giant hole on the side. I think we can do it. Here we go. Here's coming. Boost. Use your vehicle booster. If we didn't have that. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh, we're gonna make it. Oh, well, we made it across. We didn't quite make it all the way though. So this is the International Space Station. And when I saw it, I thought, ooh, I have some ideas that we could do to make this amazing. I thought, hey, what can we do to this thing? And I had some great ideas. You can't actually like get out. It's pretty durable, but you can use a shotgun or something like that. Blow a nice hole in the side. But I think, whoop, I, I busted the, I need that. I can just fly out though. Yes, okay. Sweet, we're out. So the first thing I thought we should do is, hey, what happens if we, we need the space force up in here, okay? Let's just say that. Uh, what happens if we drop a nuke or shoot a nuke at the International Space Station? Turns out that it's pretty lightweight and well, crashed into the earth. Turns out it's pretty lightweight and would get easily destroyed if it was hit by anything, probably. The next thing I thought that, I mean, the moment I saw it, I was like, oh, video idea. We're gonna uh, shoot an asteroid at it and see what happens there. Here it comes. Boom! Oh, I'm actually surprised that it has not been hit by anything dramatically like this. It's uh, There's a lot of stuff up there and it has not been destroyed or damaged severely by any of that crap, let alone a big giant rock from space. Three asteroid strikes to destroy the ISS. Oh yeah, I also have the guided asteroid. Let's let's try that out, shall we? Meow. Here it comes. Can't tell where I'm going because I've got this. Oh, I just flew right through it. Apparently, you can just keep flying this thing. I can't tell. My screen is so bright these days. I don't know what happened. There we go. We hit it. Oh, you know what? I also have something else. I also have the meteor strike, which I think is actually bigger than the asteroid think so at least maybe not yo it goes right through things though that's the difference the asteroid strike oh no the asteroid strike just kind of gets uh you know blown up when the meteor strike goes through objects yo boom 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 oh man that is deadly well i think that's it for this video guys uh we are in need of some major repairs over here uh let me know what you think of this video also click one of the two videos that you're about to see like and subscribe all the good stuff i'll see you guys in the next one and i hope you're having a great day